Hey everybody and welcome to Glazing Day. Overnight I put your clay in the kiln at 2000 degrees and it changed from greenware to bisqueware and now it's white and it's breakable. I also waxed the bottom of your pieces to prepare for glazing day. I did that in order to protect the bottom of your pots from getting any glaze on them today. That means we do not paint the bottom of our pots. If we accidentally get glaze on the bottom of our pots, it's okay, because I will wipe it off. But yes, you heard me correctly. Do not paint glaze on the bottom of your pots. Okay, so now you will get your pot back from me with some wax on the bottom and we're gonna start to paint our colorful glaze on our pot. I went ahead and picked this dark blue first for the top rim of my pot, and painting with glaze is just like painting with any other paint. I never mix the colors in the paint tray. If I want a new color, I clean my brush off in the water, dry it off on a towel, and go get my new color. Glaze is a little bit of a special paint. It has little microscopic pieces of glass in it. And after we are done painting our pots with glaze today, I will actually put them back in the kiln one more time to melt the glaze into a beautiful glass coating on your pots. Now look at this glaze right here. Do you see the dark and the light orange? The glaze actually dries so fast, and that's good. Because after we put our first coat of glaze, we have to put a second coat. Yep, a second coat of each color. So here I am doing my blue one more time, the yellow one more time, and then I'm gonna do my orange one more time, and I'm cleaning my brush in between each color. And that's gonna make my colors look so smooth and dark when they come out of the kiln. And you can see how fast the glaze dries. As long as you just put just a little bit on there, you're not globbing it on, then it will dry perfectly fine. After your colors dry, we're going to do a layer of top coat. The top coat looks like a white powdery blue and we're gonna cover our whole entire pot, except for the bottom, with that powdery blue top coat. But Miss Potts, it's gonna ruin the things that I painted on my pot. Guess what? It's not. This powdery whitish blue top coat will actually dry clear. If you get glaze on your hands, it's okay. We will wash them, so don't worry. When you're done covering your whole pot with that powder blue top coat, put the top back on the glaze and you're done glazing. Now what happens after your glaze dries after school? How does your pot go into the kiln? You get to have a peek behind the curtains. I wipe any extra glaze off the bottom of your pots that wax protects the glaze from getting stuck to the pot and there i am i just wipe it right off if there's any glaze that accidentally gets on the bottom there and then i load all of your pots into the kiln now it does take quite a while to wipe all the glaze off the bottom of the pots but it's really important because if any glaze stays on the bottom of your pot it will actually stick in the kiln. And I'll have to smash it to get it out. After I wipe all the glaze off the bottom, I load the kiln and it's like doing a giant puzzle. After I fill one layer, I add shelves in and make another layer on top. Then I press a bunch of buttons and after 12 hours, your pieces come out looking beautiful with dark colors. The wax that was on the bottom of your pots 
melts and dissolves into nothing. And your colors come out so dark and beautiful. And you can take a picture of your pot or even drink some tea out of it. 